cool. So today I'm going to go over um, how to make an edge detection patch um, in Spark AR. It will be up on my repository uh, when it's done. Um, so yeah, if you're not familiar with edge detection, it's kind of a, a 2D way of processing images in order to um, find edges. Um, and for our purposes, we're using it just for a uh, look, um, but it can be used in computer vision to actually do useful stuff. Um, so it takes a, a kernel. Um, this is a, a math term. You don't really have to know what it does, but um, if you want to look up um, if kernel image processing on Wikipedia, there's all these kernels um, for you to play with to get different effects. So I have a convolution patch already made, um, and it's got blur and sharpen in there. I didn't actually put edge detection in this repository, but um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so I'll, I'll just go over how to make that. So basic um, 2D image processing setup, just make a canvas, put a rectangle in there, fill, and then give the material. Uh, what am I trying to do? Oh, material. Going to be flat. Um, and then we're going to pipe the texture in there. This is all like standard setup for if you're doing like any kind of 2D image processing. So I've done it pretty much in, in all of the other tutorials. So just so you can see me. Um, and then I'm going to grab the convolution patch. So there's a whole bunch. There's like blur and, and sharpen and stuff. And some of them even use a fragment step just to get around some of the limitations of Spark. Oh yeah. Okay. Grab that. So I think by default this patch, just so you can like see it doing something, it's a, it's like a sharpening. So it's pretty strong. So you can play with the strength, tone it down a little, just make it slightly noticeable. I think I'm going to stick with two. Um, so pretty much that's, that's the bulk of it. Um, and then you can copy kernel values um, into here. So I'm just going to look up one. Let's do like something super simple. So. One, negative one, negative one, one. And that'll give us a pretty faint looking um, edge detection, but we can always crank the strength up to make it more noticeable. And what's happening here is um, these values are essentially all getting added together. So if you end up with a, a total that's greater than one, then your image will essentially have a brightening effect applied to it. Um, you may or may not want that. So let's turn the strength up so you can see. Okay, that didn't do anything. Um, I think there's something a little funky with the convolution patch. So you have to you have to put one on the center pixel. Yeah, some something's weird with that. Um, so you can see this is obviously affecting it. It looks like a really strong sharpening effect. It doesn't quite look like the example they gave. So to get this uh, outline thing, um, we're just going to subtract the original image from the the output of the convolution patch, and that'll give us just the, the difference, um, meaning the edges. So to do that, subtract, 
Now, I don't want to just subtract this and this because what happens there, you'll see. Well, that was unexpected. Oh yeah, okay. So you can see the plane is like totally transparent. That's because it's subtracting the alpha value. Um, so one minus one is zero, so you get uh, zero alpha. Um, so instead of doing that, we're gonna pipe in just RGB. And then, yeah, that should do it, except we need the alpha. So we're gonna grab, oh yeah, we can just do a pack. So if you're a sane person, you'd be like, oh, it's packing four values because there's the RGB and then there's the A. Um, but then you'd have to unpack these and it's kind of a pain. So Spark is, gives you a little flexibility on, on these kind of numbers. So you can just put in RGB and then A and it will uh, pack them together for you into a vector four. Um, that's actually not what we wanted though. We want to pack, yeah, the alpha is what we need. And then the RGB from here. And then we get this edge detection look. So if you want to use this, I mean, it's kind of dark. You can do quite a bit with this though. Like if you, um, let's say we just want to, do something simple and add uh, this kind of edge effect on top of wait that would be undoing the work we did so let's do something different let's just do a divide so we divide the original by the output maybe we'll get something funky yeah, that's pretty cool looking um, I mean, you can play with this for days. I actually like how, how it does the, the colors there. Um, so yeah, you, we can try a different convolution or a uh, kernel. So let's do something like that. Let's try negative four in the center and then ones on the sides. I mean, and you don't have to pull, like you can see this is doing crazy stuff, just like kind of randomly changing numbers. Um, so you, you can just play with these and um, get some pretty cool effects going on. Um, there we go, one there, one there. So it's a similar effect. I think this one looks a little crisper. And then of course you can always play with strength. Let's crank it up to like, 20. Yeah. So you get some cool stuff happening. And this is like kind of a reversed out image. Um, so if you want, um, you can, you can, what would you do? You would do like a, a one minus. So subtract. And that's a, that's how you invert an image is just one minus the color. So there's, still looks inverted, but the effect is pretty cool. So, neat stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and I mean, also you can do, you can do blur effects with this. Um, those patches are in here. This is just a simple like box blur. So it's pretty low quality, but it's fast. Um, so if you need to blur something quickly, that's the way to do it. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. I'm going to take a screenshot of this and put it on the YouTube video. Um, so again, this is going to be up at, um, Posit Labs Spark Edge Detection Repository. Um, so 
yeah, if you want to see more, uh, click the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.